Okay, so the next thing to do is drag this out to its full length, and then we can look at the tempo tweaking. So let's drag that out to its full length. I'll just set that so it's eight bars long, and we'll drag this out. So that's also covering the full eight bars. And let's hear that. <laughs> problem is it's sustaining too long at the end before it cycles back, right? So, um, what I'm going to do is increase this tempo up to 89 manually, okay? Now, let me just snap this back to the very end of that bar. Let's just hear that last bit and see how it cycles around and resolves now. Here we go. <laughs> That's a bit better. Uh, I just want to go and look at the beginning again. Let's just zoom in. So I just want to make sure I trim that properly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I could trim that in a bit more, so I'll set this to samples. Just trim this in a fraction more and then snap it back to the beginning of that bar exactly. Let's just hear that. Oh yeah, by the way, the end will now need to be snapped, won't it? I've only made a tiny infinitesimal adjustment, but you can see it's off the line, so just snap that back to the line right, so it won't make a huge difference. That. Let's just hear the end of that, how it resolves. Going back to the beginning, I mean. <laughs> But the thing is, I want this to fit a full rounded tempo. Okay. Um, I could try 88, for example, but that's going to make it sustain too long at the end, I think. Listen. Yeah, so for the full length of audio across eight bars, I'm going to stick with eight. Oops. 89. All right, Let's snap that back. Okay, so it resolves at the end like this. Not 100% accurate, but... Okay, so the next step now is to go in, and if we look, like here's the beginning of the third bar, and that is the attack transient there of the next bar of playing, which I'll put this back into samples. That there is the attack transient listen for that bar for the third bar. And it's slightly behind bar three. Alright? That's the attack transient somewhere there for the fourth bar. And it's uh, fractionally behind bar four. That's the attra attack transient there, look, for the beginning of bar five. And that's slightly behind bar five marker. <laughs> right, etc. So what's happening is the beginning of each bar of playing is fractionally behind the marker for that bar. Just fractionally. But the nearer you get towards the end, the closer they get. Okay, which, look, there's the beginning transient for the second bar. And it's behind bar two by, you know almost a sixteenth, there go the police again uh, but the seventh bar is almost accurate and the eighth bar is slightly ahead so this is not a consistent tempo all the way through, it's slightly speeding up towards the end but how are we going to get that to fit a tempo of 89 which see, works very closely for the whole eight bars well basically we're going to use flex markers now to bring up the starting attra attack transients of each bar of playing so they're snapped to the beginning of each bar Okay, and there's a certain amount of musical fiddling and interpretation. You've got to do all this by ear, okay? But um, that's the idea. Bring this attack transient for this bar of playing so it's snapped to the very beginning of bar two. Bring this attack transient, which is the beginning of the bar three of playing, so it's snapped exactly to bar three. This transient needs to be snapped to bar four. 
that transient there needs to be snapped to bar 5 that transient there needs to be snapped to bar 6 and that one is actually pretty much on bar 7 and that one is fractionally ahead of bar 8. Okay, So we're going to use the flex markers now to line up the beginning of each bar of playing with the bar markers. That's the next job.